Hello, welcome back to my channel, Pervin's Tarot. Thank you very much for tuning in. Yes, it happened. The Queen has passed and a new era is um, has begun for Britain, the Commonwealth and all the other territories which are uh, which are governed by the monarchy. Let's put it like this. And uh, King Charles III is the title of the new king. And I will have today uh, just um, a lot of readings and uh, all about the UK and the new era. Also, uh, the UK has a new prime minister. Um, it is Liz Truss and um, I will look into her as well. And I will look into some uh, members of the royal family. Of course, Meghan and Harry, definitely. I will have a look. And um, I will start because the main question tonight is um, about the new era in the UK. And uh, we, I read it in the news and uh, I suppose it's, um, it's true. You know that the British people... Um, especially living in England are kind of suffering from the high energy prices and cost of living and so on that it went all up and then a lot of people are suffering and don't know how they can pay their bills it's in a kind of situation in Germany as well but it's I think it's more severe in England than or in the UK than it's here in Germany um i have a look into that so i will start first i will look into the new era of the united kingdom how it will uh, unfold and how the era will be so my question to the cards how will be the future of the united kingdom with the new king and of course the new prime minister let's see what the cards tell me or tell us and then we will I will interpret the cards and always this is for entertainment purposes and always my own interpretation other card readers might see different uh, aspects but um, yeah Ooh. <sighs> overshadowing the era of the United Kingdom is the devil there is, the, that means this is kind of the foundation of the whole reading now. The devil can't show up in the reading anymore, but devil is all about bondage, kind of suffering, uh, be, being um, not free in the sense that you can live your life as you want or have planned it. So there's a lot of uh, di um, yeah, diabolic things going on. I will do, of course, an updated reading later in the year. It will be, I suppose, um, now it's uh, September, but this is already not uh, promising how uh, the UK or the era of the, yeah, how the era will unfold. Sorry, people, but it's how it is. So in the center is the lover's choice. And funny enough, you can see this is the same couple here. This is the more positive and this is a negative. So already two major arcanas. The lover's is all about choice. Choice. This is Gemini energy. Gemini is the communicator, also the merchant. Also, um, you could say with if you see it from um, the perspective of astrology, it's uh, they can be scattery. These people can be a bit talkative, and uh, you can't put them into one box because they are kind of um, not very clear what type of people these are. They can be very positive in a way, but in another way. Uh, quite negative so it's like bringing this together and it's all about balance and it's having like we say here having two faces okay this in the middle center card 
the lovers. Then the Knight of Pentacles in the background, so it's uh, behind it. Then the Knight of Cups. Then the King of Swords. Then the Four of Pentacles. We are talking about austerity, what I mentioned in the beginning. So because this is above the cards here, above the center card, about, above the lovers. One, two, three court cards. That means a lot of people are involved and I will come to it in a second. So this is normally a stingy person or holding their money together. Uh, and also their uh, energies in a sense, because the this is earth energy and earth has always to do something with soil itself and also with the body. And here it's like keeping your resources together like being uh, not uh, spending everything. It's like having also uh, not that much funds because this is a four and four is not a 10. You know, like, because if you look for, because the uh, all uh, uh, elements start with the ace and then they go up till 10. And the four is first of all below five. So it means it's not a huge, Thumb. It's not a lot of money which we are talking about. So it's like making money choices for the people in the new era it is, um, uh, uh, um, the UK is entering. Behind that is the Knight of Pentacles. I always say this is more the show horse and also because if he's decorated it's not the fighting horse and it goes also, it, this could indicate that here are two money cards and here are the people in a sense like the lovers the choice card and in the background is also uh, it means that a lot of money was spent somehow you know for leisure for you know for vanity for this kind of things not fundamental uh, important things more on luxurious items of course you can now debate what is luxury and uh, it depends, everybody has to make their own decision what luxury means to them. But and this is more the past. So in the background, a lot of money was uh, spent here above. It's more a reminder to be careful with your money. Here is the King of Swords and here's the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, I would say, is Prince William, now uh, the Prince of Wales, going forward. <clears throat> And here's the King of Swords. Charles, I don't see as a sword person, but it could be that he changes his tactics because this is more like a domineering person. Of course, hierarchy very high. The king is the highest card or the kings are the highest cards. It's more um, making your judgments. Uh, it can be a cruel person, but this is um, a person who is more... Um, like in legal uh, terms, somehow acting. It could be that Prince Charles, I will come to him in a, a, in a different reading in a second, is that he might change some laws. And Prince William, it's like going forward into the future. So because for him, a new life has uh, started he will have more responsibilities. Actually, he would normally take over the responsibilities of Charles. But because I'm looking for the UK, so it seems like as people, uh, it seems like, I don't know, that the people were not having a choice whom they want to have as a leader. Of course, it's a constitution there and there are this, uh, lines of succession and so on you can't change this except uh, you know if there is some parliament uh, interference or parliamentary interference and uh, or action and it seems like as it, there will still be a monarchy but it's somehow for me in the cards it looked like as the people want to have a choice and they preferred more Prince William. But this was a UK reading. There will be a lot of fights going on. Five of um, fire energy, five of wands. Then the Knight of Swords. 
action or an, an, not action, but somebody who's going into a fight and here two fighting cards next to each other. I'm really sorry. And the moon, the people. Do you know what I think? Uh, not what I think. Yeah, I could say I think. What I see in the cards, I wouldn't be surprised if in the UK there will be civil unrest because the people are somehow not happy with the situation they are in in the in, in their financial situation the moon is the people card we have here two major arcanas then we have directly two fighting cards in the uh, here if in the f future outlook and um the new era somehow of course there will be the funeral and so on people are now um distracted but it looks like, I'm really sorry to say that, it looks like civil unrest and not like a civil war, but some street fights will somehow could happen. It looks like that and it will be by the people. The people like the public. Hmm, interesting. So this is the new era with the devil below that I will do an update it doesn't look that promising sorry Brits I will do now a second reading and this reading will be about King Charles how his reign will be and I did in the, in the past a reading about that but now he is officially he is now the king and let's see how his reign will be and how he will be the, received by the people of course by parliament and everything which is included in in his reign or in his realms you know that's uh, what i will look into let's shuffle the cards so king charles the third let's see how his reign will now begin or how it will yeah be sorry i'm sometimes you know <laughs> So I have shuffled the cards. I will cut the cards. Below that, overshadowing the uh, reading is the Queen of Pentacles. Actually, not a bad card overshadowing uh, the whole reading. This is um, a hierarchy, definitely uh, more a person who knows money well, who knows how to manage money, how to create new business endeavors. Who is also very down to earth. I know uh, Prince Charles doesn't come across as, of course, in his younger years, definitely not. But he's quite a down to earth person. He's a different monarch. He's like somebody who's more approach approachable. But he here it is more in the hierarchy. The king is the highest and the queen is actually the partner. But it's more, this is a more motherly type. Uh, he's very traditional, definitely. He will quite continue with the legacy of his mother. It could be, because this is overshadowing the whole reading, that he wants to follow the route his mother took. You know, more traditions, more, not nationalistic, but as a king if of a country, you are actually nationalistic. I don't mean this nationalism in the right wing you know kind of sense no he likes his uh, country or the earth which belongs to him or his realm yeah in the middle is the king or a knight of pentacles we know that is a goodbye card the eight of cups the star hopes and wishes in for the future the tower and the hanged man I will take three or more. Happy family, ten of cups. The generosity card. I get with Charles a lot the generosity card. This is being of, of service. I will come that. And the king of pentacles. So, his reign. Do you know what he will do? So, knight of pentacles is somebody who spends a kind of... Um, uh, a lot of money like luxury items and so on but i will come to that in a second here is the goodbye card here is something like the goodbye card from his old life there was a sudden change 
of course, we know that his mother uh, uh, died. She was uh, ill, but also they were mentally somehow prepared, but nobody expected it that it would happen that suddenly that he will be become king directly. So, um, or that, uh, you know, in, in a short time, we know that as soon as the queen dies or the, re the monarch, the uh, successor will be on the throne. But here, I mean, with the passing of the queen, that this happened really uh, sudden uh, to him as well, that he get the notification. This is his old life is dramatically changing. Of course, we know that because he's now king has totally different responsibilities, even though uh, I assume that he already took over when his uh, mother got um, ill. He took already the majority of the duties of the royal household or the monarchy, not officially, but unofficially he was actually the king already. Or oh, so. What does this mean? Because this is all um, badly aspected because it's a tower here, down here. But this tower may, uh, means also earthquake situation that he will change the whole monarchy. How they spend their money, who gets money from the funds of the royal household. He will make tabula rasa. He will make a really sudden uh, uh, change in the whole royal family uh, system. And the star is the hopes and wishes normally. This is Aquarian energy. Aquar uh, an Aquarius is normally looking into the future. This is more technology, you know, everything which is, it's uh, Aquarius is also the sign of the astrologer, just to give you that information. It is like going into new, in new paths and ways. He will really change the monarchy. Even though uh, in his base or in his core, he is a traditionalist, but he will make major changes for the UK and to, definitely to the monarchy. Here, the hanged man, it's normally somebody in suspension, but here, because the hanged man is normally seen as the traitor, but here the hanged man is not badly aspected. So you could see he is now under public scrutiny. He is in the marketplace and he is now being judged kind of what he is now offering the people. So with this cards, definitely, I will come to that in a second. It's not, it won't be an easy reign for him. And he will have a lot of uh, kind of setbacks and his hopes and wishes what he has planned or he imagines he will have some setbacks um, because of a lot of reasons. Money wise, people maybe not accepting them, that he will have quite, it's not like you know that, of course, you are the monarch, you are the king, you are the ruler, but it's not like that everything what you plan, you can implement. So, but what is coming next here for the future? So we are talking now during his reign. So he will have a bumpy start. Definitely a lot of changes are coming his way or he's initiating a lot of changes. Here's the happy family, the 10 of cups. Very good. It's like be united. The uh, nation and the royal family somehow being united. Charles itself is a very generous person and he is really uh, serving the public. He is really there. He is uh, knows his duties. In a sense, he is kind like his mother. But he already did, uh, 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 especially uh, Princess Anne and Prince Charles took most of the duties uh, already. They may, had so many public engagements. I think I read that Princess Anne, I think she was top or Prince Charles were to was top. So the both had more than 700 engagement, engagements a year, which is, I don't know how they manage that. Of course, they have um, a lot of uh, also uh, public engagements where they have to be pop, uh, where they have to be seen, like trooping the colors and so on. But also 
they have a lot of charities and sometimes I saw once a documentary about uh, um, Princess Anne. She has sometimes seven, eight engagements a day. I don't know how they manage that, but he is somebody who is devoted to service, to the public um, service to his people. He doesn't see himself. He is the King of Pentacles. He will generate a lot of money for the UK. A lot of money because the king of pentacles is one of the highest money cards with the ten of pentacles but the ten of pentacles is not here but the ten of do you know what also do you know what will happen so the cards indicate through his public service he will win the hearts of the people hmm and he uh the monarchy financially will be better off than they are now i don't know what's happening there in the background but he will uh change the system as well because he himself thinks that the royal household is too expensive and he is quite um has the intuitive sense what people are suffering it's not somebody who overlooks that and it seems like that he will spend a uh, change public spending or royal household spending, like the lux luxury, you know, uh, lifestyle of some royals, and downsize it so that people accept them as their, or King um, Charles as their monarch because they are seen differently. So the whole monarchy, the whole. United Kingdom will change somehow. Hmm. Not. Of course, the beginning will be uh, not nice, but in a couple of years, his legacy will be actually not bad. It looks more promising and positive. So now I have a third reading because I'm looking into the UK, the new era, and this is Liz Truss. The new PM. I haven't even noticed, uh, uh, sorry, that there was a general election again, so that Liz uh, first becomes uh, became prime minister. I ha have not seen uh, that before. I don't know that she was voted in by the people. If they just, you know, made her PM without asking the. The Brits. It's. Uh, I will look into the cards now, because I know that she is a WEF Klaus Schwab uh, pupil. Let's see. They are now everywhere in every government. <laughs> Sorry that I have to laugh, but it's unbelievable. So Liz Truss, how will her rain bill it be as a pm so i cut the cards and let's see overshadowing the whole reading oh she is not uh so the eight of swords mentally totally blocked blocked i don't know if she is intellectually able i mean like mm, not it it looks like that she's not the brightest candle on the on the cake i don't know anything about her credentials as an academic not everybody has to be academic uh, has to go to university there are a lot of people who are intelligent without you know attending any uh, university but i don't know um, intellectually i mean like being witty and so on i don't see her as that. first of all overshadowing the whole reading she's you see, woman bondage. Here is the, in the background, it's kind of a castle. She's turned her back to that. And also, she is uh, like a puppet. She has nothing to say. Nothing to say. Somebody else is, is doing all the dealings, actually. She is just, you know, somebody like an actress in front of the people but she is not hmm 
doesn't look good. I don't know what this, all the readings about the UK, it looks like really difficult for the people for a certain time. The Invisible Enemy, Seven of Wands, behind it, the Hierophant, I hear it is already, because it's in the background. Here's the Fool. The World, Two of Wands, Two Fire Cards, Two Major Arcana, and here's the Third of or major arcana choices the lovers and i come to that in a second so this trust knight of swords ace of wands yes fire energy and the thief i can tell you please her reign or her um position as a prime minister people didn't have any choice the Hierophant is my occultism card, like this secret societies in the background. Five, the Hierophant in the background, the fool. She's absolutely, I'm really sorry to say that I don't want to uh, uh, use such language, but she's the idiot whom they, you know, put out there to make um, their policies You know, their policies, what they plan, like the secret organizations in the background, which have never been elected. It's like she's the puppet who is, you know, uh, implementing their plans. No choice. There will be fights against that. Against that. So, and the whole, uh, whole world. So it's like the world card. And for me, not the world in the major arcana sense, but for me, this has always something to do with abroad, getting your, you know, chickens in, but it's more something global. Doesn't look good. There will be fights. I wouldn't be surprised if she is that stupid to enter a war. And there is the thief, trickery, they will steal from the people. Uh, her reign or her politics uh, uh, don't look good for the British people. Definitely not. She's not the trustworthy person who should be on this position. Not according to my cards. I take here, it's like uh, juggling interference, juggling with money. She's also not a good money person. Like who can handle the funds of the of the government or of the you know like the taxes income and everything which is coming in uh, for the government so they can distribute it and make changes and actually uh, um, achievements for the people no she can't handle money at all she can't and she uh, I people have to watch if she will steal money for her own benefit I'm really, really sorry. Uh, it, she is absolutely not the right person. Not the right person on the posi uh, position. She is put uh, there by a secret society. She is foolish enough to uh, have ex uh, accept, uh, accepted this position, but she is absolutely not the right person. But she will present herself, you know, like the wind. If the wind is in that direction, then she will speak like that. If the wind is in the, in the other direction, she will speak like that. It's somebody you can't grasp and you can't trust somehow. Sorry about that, but it's her reign or her government and what she will do. Doesn't look good. So I will do now another reading and this reading will be uh, about um, Prince William and Catherine now Dutch both now Prince and Princess of Wales and also Duchess of Cornwall Dutch uh, Duke of Cornwall and also Cambridge and after that I will do my last reading so how will they now uh, now they stepped into their no, a new position. How will their um, how will they fill their new duties? What I'm, I mean by that, how they will they act? 
will they be uh, hated one day because they don't because there are a lot of people have expectation and can they deliver the promise and the expectations prince william and catherine the duke and duchess and the prince and princess of wales let's see what the cards say i can't um, you know sometimes when i ask questions I see something totally different in a reading and then I jump into that even though I ask something else. Oh, the married couple. This is a celebration card. They are happy about their new titles and their new roles. This is the family. Like this is a four action uh, oriented fire energy. It's a lower card, but they are actually, you know, this is the married Normally, the lovers you could say is a couple, America. There are a lot of cards here in the in the tarot deck which indicate uh, you know a marriage, but this is a married couple and they are still married. In the middle, oh the devil, oh, Queen of Cups in the background, leaving six of um, swords, the hermit. And the Ten of Swords, oof, it doesn't look good actually. King of Swords, I have it the second time. Celebrations, Three of Cups, also can be uh, alcohol, liquid abu abuse and strength. Major Arcana. Three Major Arcanas in a small reading. And then two really bad cards. You can't get worse. It can't get worse in a reading. So this, because the devil is in the middle, so every card here, and then here the Ten of Swords, every card is uh, badly aspected. Could be any word. You know, I asked about uh, Prince uh, William and Catherine. This could be actually a reading for Harry and Meghan, you know, but it is not. It is them, and the cards are showing this. Actually, they uh, prefer more being... Uh, in retreat, not being in the public eye that much. What's uh, not nice here in this whole reading, there is no card which indicates public duty, unfortunately. But this is the reading how it is at the moment. They maybe change. Devil is a uh, diabolic. Have they come across? as people who are lazy and also self-indulgent a bit because there is somehow something going on which is not positive they have to leave and change their whole attitude somehow here the queen of cups in the background they came across or came across as you know as the sensitive people you know like uh being empathy empathetic and uh like nice people but they are not somehow i'm really sorry i don't know why they prefer being in uh solace Something really devilish is going on. Can be, you know, that there's something planning with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Could be, you know, that they are doing something which is diabolical. Like putting an end to it. But themselves and then moving offshore somehow. This means also because... Uh, uh, swords is air energy like their mental attitude will change hmm. and we see only the back of them I don't know this except apart from the public duties official visits they have to attend they will leave, uh, live more a private life. 
I have to do an update on them. So, King of Swords, it seems like as, you know, <sighs> King of Swords is, can be a cruel person. And here the said, I come to that again and again, it seems like as one of them, but it, this would, people would have noticed them, that somebody, some of the, one person on in this, uh, in this relationship can't keep her hands or his hands away from liquids. Strength energy. This person needs the liquid to be strong enough to carry out the duties. And this is also a very detached person. I will have to check that if they will change their attitude, you know, like because they are now upper scale royals they were always uh, you know on the top uh, of the royal family not on on top of top but they were in the higher uh, um, higher rank in the family the only positive thing here in this reading could be only concerning prince harry and Meghan markle that they you know have some dev uh, diabolical plans and just want to get rid of them so out of uh, the UK this would be the if I interpret this really heavy cards in the most positive way but here's nothing positive to say actually we have to check but Prince William and Princess Catherine will change their minds, attitudes towards the people, and it doesn't look positive. Very hard, very difficult cards for the UK, except actually that Prince Charles or King Charles's reign will, at the end of the day, look more promising as it is now after he has, you know overcome this whole setbacks and so on it doesn't oh, now my last reading is the couple prince harry and Meghan markle they are in the uk at the moment and you follow uh my royal fans the um what's out there the media and so on somehow they you know prince harry and prince william and the two ladies attended some public event and um, because Charles is now king, his grandchildren have the right to be uh, royal highnesses. So it would be Prince Li Princess Lilibet and Prince Archie. They have actually, uh, I don't know where the children are at the moment. I don't know if they are with them in the UK. I have no idea. This couple is a bit dubious. Imagine it now. Uh, Meghan Markle has a higher status because her father-in-law is now the king. This is totally different. I would would like to know if they want to cash on that. And if Prince Charles will give Lilibet and Archie, except it's in, the, in their laws and regulations and so, that they ha have to become royal highnesses. You know by law but princess anne for example she didn't give her children titles they are not called princess sarah and i think his uh son is philip or is it i don't know uh, they are not prince and princesses so that's a bit odd so prince charles could also not make the children his grandchildren prince and princess but i don't think that he would go i will see prince harry and Meghan markle 
how will now the new situation, the new family situation being now uh, the son and daughter-in-law of the king, of the reigning monarch, change the situation and will the children get titles that's more important overshadowing the whole reading is stillness the four of swords it's not that megan and harry will decide that it's now still this is a waiting situation it is more like uh it's not their decision it's the monarch's decision and he's waiting he's waiting he's not making a rush decision in the middle is the queen of wands yeah she is now uh stepped uh, further in the line chariot victory card ace of wands a cs card page of cups and the page of pentacles believe it or not archie and little red will re receive the titles royal highness And why? Celebration again, six of wands, a reunification, two of cups, and anxiousness. So the chariot is movement, major arcana. Um, the children will receive new titles. Yes, card here. There will be some uh, celebrations because the family will unite. So it seems like as uh, Charles will offer them the olive branch by giving the uh, children the titles uh, prince and princess. And that will bring them together. But there are still very a uh, lot of scars in the in the in their relationship. I'm now talking about Charles and Prince Harry. But Meghan Markle is now for me the Queen of Wands because he stepped, she stepped up, even though she's not in the line of succession, but she's married to the son of the king. It's a very different position. She has her victory and she will receive her victory. She will receive, even though she, you know, uh, bashes the royal family, she will take the advantages of the royal family. She will receive what she's uh, asking for. And the reason why one, two fire cards is more because the royal family is not scared, but they are in the public and they are very much uh, have to rely or sense the public opinion. And that's why Prince Charles will take the decision to give them uh, the children the titles because of this kind of uh, Meghan Markle played a very good game because she accused the royal family of racism on the UK and if her two children don't get the royal titles it is like that she has been you know um, correct about you know not getting these titles because it's about racism she played her cards very well and she accused the, uh, the whole nation about racism even though she appears like a racist and Charles will make this decision because he doesn't want the royal family to look look in the in the world or to to be seen in the world as racist and that's one of the reasons why it's not because he loves his grandchildren he never sees and it's also to keep them somehow stum and silent this will be the decision but it looks like that um megan's tactic worked out and it looks like as the two grandchildren will receive the royal highness titles hmm, interesting that's how I see the cards. Thank you very much for watching my video. I know it was a long, long, long reading tonight. But you 
are my audience and I wanted to make an update and um, hope uh, I hope for the Brits and the whole Commonwealth and all the countries and territories which um, belong to the monarchy that it will work out for them and that Charles will be a good king and make makes a lot of progress for the people changes which will benefit them later it won't be as immediate benefit but it will benefit the people later okay thank you again and please like subscribe my uh, like my video subscribe to my channel leave a comment and share my video if you like thank you very much and see you next time bye